Well, I'm not sure on my water pump if I got a check valve on there or it's a strainer. Um, I've seen both. So I've seen strainers on most of the newer models. I have a white plastic one. I'll give you a picture of that in a minute. But anyway, my water pressure, sometimes it's good. Sometimes it's moving real slow. I've always got good water pressure when I'm using the, the city hookup to the boat, the hose, hose to the supply line direct. But when I'm running my fresh water pump and coming off of the tank, sometimes it's running fairly okay and sometimes it's down to a dribble. Uh, I've gone around and I've checked all the aerators on the end of the faucets, make sure they were all clean, they seem to be clean. They have gotten uh, debris in there, crystals or whatever in there at times. So I'm going to dig into this a little deeper. I'm going to videotape this for you and hopefully we can find something together. Well, as you can see, it's, it's a tight squeeze for somebody like me. I'm 6'1", and uh, it's a tight engine compartment. I only come coming down here as much as, uh, as least amount as possible. And I try to get all the tools ready. So I don't know what happened to my pre I try to get all the tools ready uh, so I don't have to climb in and out of here. So anyway, my water pump is located on my firewall on the back here. Uh, right about there it's right here um, different boats different models could be anywhere so you have to first of all locate your pump and then try to find the easiest most convenient so right now I'm, I'm having water pressure issues and you're trying to get a close-up look here but anyway, my first problem here I see is um, it's, it's not leaking. It didn't freeze up. Uh, it's running, but sometimes it runs. It doesn't shut down. I'm not sure what this is. This is either a, a, a strainer, or like a little filter, or it's a check valve. I'm not sure, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to open that up too, and I'm going to clean this out. And right here, as I can see, this is this is cross-threaded. And if it's cross-threaded, it's a good possibility. It might be sucking in a little bit of air as it's pumping. This here is the supply side. And this, this is going out to my faucets in the boat. So I'm going to get this apart and uh, we'll see what's going on. Um, such a tight space that... I had to bring the GoPro down here. Um, plumbing on, on a boat, on most boats here, it's like a European plumbing. It looks like something you can buy at Home Depot, but uh, technically it's it's 15 millimeter. And I've only been able to see this size plumbing at boat stores. Well, you can probably special order to Amazon if you need some fittings or something. These fittings, is what you do is you push up, on these fittings and then there's a little great clip you squeeze and that will release the, the pipe the plastic pipe but I'm gonna start right here taking this off and I don't have a big enough wrench all right I gotta get another wrench here I'll try these I don't have to go all the way and climb out this should be okay yeah this is gonna all come out one piece I'm still gonna have to separate it even more Piece one done. Let's see if I can do this by hand. Ah, yes. So that is cross-threaded. That's that's a good problem there. Um, I'm going to rinse this out. 
but to me it doesn't look bad. It's a little bit of crystals, a little bit of crystals in there, but it's not bad. So anyway, after getting the strainer off and taking a better look at it, excuse my position hanging over the motor, this is the only spot I fit in, but anyway, this, this strainer is not correct. I, I don't think it's original with the boat, and um, anyway, the, the flow, there's a sticker on the flow here, it's going this way, but the way it's mounted, the flow is going out the opposite way. Um, I, I'm going to just get rid of this altogether, and um, I, I don't really think I need it because I'm always putting decent water in here, and um, I mean I've had campers and other boats and stuff, I've never had to deal with a strainer, but I have seen them on the, the Sea Rays and a few other the newer boats, but you also got the little strainers in the faucets too that you could take off the top of the faucets. And clean those out too and those will do the catch but I, I think I'm gonna get rid of this I don't think I'm gonna try to use it again now I don't need to put any pipe dope on here or thread um, Teflon tape um, reason being I come to that conclusion it's inside inside this fitting there's an o-ring so as long as I get it on straight and tighten it up and you don't want to tighten it too tight because it is plastic you just you just basically got to snug it up on that o-ring Let's see how I can get some water pressure here. It's a very tight spot. Sometimes it might be easier for me to go ahead I'm thinking to just go ahead and release this push down okay there's a little clip in there I gotta pull out Pull this little clip out now I should be able to push down on this and release the fitting I'm gonna take that off it'll make it easier for me to start this piece up I can always pop that back in so I'm not having to worry about cross threading it see now I'm not fighting the plumbing I can get this on nice and snug. I'm just going to give it probably a quarter to a half turn after I've hand tightened it. Just a little bit. That should be good enough. There's not a ton of pressure in there. push that up in there all right it's done all the way pull back down see if I can get that clip back in there clip will lock everything in place so it all look good here so we'll give it a try oh, like I said it's hot outside I see a sweat coming out I've come out I'm gonna 
I'm going to turn my pump on, let the pressure build up. Now when I crack the line open like that, um, it's best to start at the, the farthest faucet away and work my way up. Uh, you want to bleed the, the air out of the lines too before you're done. But we should, we should be able to build up enough. It's going to probably spit a little bit of air out and then we should see the pressure. And there's Molly again. She loves the water. She's going to be in the video. Let's see how our pressure is now. Like I said, it's still building up pressure. Holly loves playing in the water. That's coming out of the tank. That's not the city water. I can pull this down. And pull this down. Not bad. Not bad pressure. Look at this crazy cat. I can't keep her out of the way. But I get for bringing her down. <laughs> but it looks pretty good. I mean, that's good enough. Good enough to wash my hands with. Do the dishes. I even take a shower. We'll let her sit there. We're going to shut this off. And I'm going to verify that the pump builds up pressure. We're going to bleed. I'm going to bleed the bathroom out first, too. Make sure we get all the air out. That's a hot water and cold water side. It looks like a pretty solid. Looks like a pretty solid stream. So you hear the pump running. And I think it shut off. And a lot of times it kept running and running and running. I think it was sucking in air. I don't hear it running anymore. And I'll climb back down here a little bit and show you and see if we got any leaks. Okay, it looks pretty solid. And don't see no leaks. And I feel like it's working much better than it did before. It was, I was out, went for swimming off the swim platform last week. Got out and I said, well, I'll just take a shower on the boat, freshen up before I head into the port. And, water was just drizzling out of the out of the shower head so i don't think we'll have that problem anymore